Hi, in this lecture I wanted to give you a quick comparison between KiCap 6 and how it looks on the supported platforms which are Mac OS X, Windows and Linux. And KiCap has gone a long way since its origins. Uh, it's always been cross-platform compatible. So as far as I remember back, even KiCad 3 and KiCad 4, I remember that it was offered in these three different platforms, but it didn't always operate just as well in all three. What I'm really impressed about KiCad 6 is how well it runs on all three platforms, and uh, it is very difficult to find any, if there are any differences at all. So I just wanted to give you an example of KiCad 6, this, the exact same version, as it operates on uh, Mac OS and then Windows and then Linux. The bulk of this course is recorded on Mac OS X. So you'll be seeing uh, KiCad looking like this with the menu bar up the top as per the Mac OS user interface paradigm. But everything else inside the Windows themselves is identical across all platforms. So for example, here is the main KiCad project window. And let's have a look inside the schematic editor. It looks like this. The convention, of course, is followed with the menus being up at the very top of the window, but then everything else, such as the buttons themselves and how the editor works and shortcuts, um, all work the same. Of course, with shortcuts, uh, the main difference between Mac and Windows or Linux is that the Mac uses the command key, where Windows and Linux use their control key. Let's have a look at Windows 10 in this example. So here's the exact same project. You can see that the KiCad project window has its menu bar integrated into the window itself, unlike the Mac where the two are separated. But then once you get into the schematic editor in the same project, just rearrange it so you can see it. So, so you can keep everything as closely as possible so you can draw conclusions. You can see that the menus are integrated with the window in EE schema where it's separated in the Mac version of EE schema, but then everything else is the same. You can see the, the buttons are almost identical. Um, the way that the mouse operates in the schematic editor is the same. The, the ability to move things around with shortcuts is the same. Snap on, snap off, that works. Oops, let's try that a bit one more time. All right, there you go. Uh, the right context menu works the same. Just have a look at that so you can see same items appear on both sides. The preferences, let's go for the uh, schematic setup preferences, put them side by side. You can see that they are pretty much identical. I'm not noticing any differences. Uh, electrical rules and pin conflicts map. It's just an exact copy of one in the other. Let's also have a look at the PCB new app. See if there's anything different there. Let's get a PCB new from within e schema in the Mac as well. All right, looks like that. So it's like it's like I'm I'm seeing a copy of one into the other. The objects menu can change the opacity of tracks and vias uh, zones as well and that works the same way on the mac let's expand this menu as well so i can get the full length of those widgets yeah uh, switch that the zones to that view works well the 3d viewer on the mac the 3D viewer is a little demanding on the GPU, so um, that's what it looks like on the Mac. And on Windows, let's try it out. There you go. 
looks great. I haven't set, I haven't copied across the 3D shapes on my Windows virtual machine, and that's why it looks a little different. But the 3D viewer works, um, and across the board, it looks like the Mac OS with the Windows 10 version of KiCad. Uh, almost identical, at least I cannot see any differences. Uh, let's check out Linux as well. So I have installed KiCad 6 on a Linux virtual machine. I'm actually running Kubuntu here. I found that Kubuntu works very well with KiCad 6 as well as free routing, which is the software that I'm using for auto routing. Uh, so let's have a look. Start with the schematic editor. So, yeah. Everything looks the same. Uh, let's have a look at the context menu. Right click. Yep. Seems like, yep. That's good. Context menu for the junction there. I can move things around uh, as normal as I would in Windows. Probably my grid is a little different here. And uh, that's why I can't hit the target right there. Let's see if I can reset the grid something finer because I copied this project from my Mac OS KiCad into Linux and um, that copy had no effect in the ability to work on the PCB uh, so it, it is possible then to move from one platform to the other uh, KiCad will happily work with files that have been created in Mac OS X and continue working in Linux and then continue working in Windows, which means that if you have a team of developers and each team member uses their, their own preferred operating system, then again, KiCad will be able to accommodate that. There's no problem at all. You don't have to worry about moving the project files between different operating systems. KiCad will accommodate. So all good in EE schema. And let's have a look at uh, PCB new, same project, and have a look inside, just play around with the widgets for a little bit of time, there's the tracks, there's the zone here, I'll just switch the zone on in that mode so you can see it, there you go, um, 3D of course, check that out. Yeah, looks good. Front and back. Again, the uh, 3D shapes are missing. Uh, that's because I haven't copied them into my Linux virtual machine, but the 3D viewer seems to be working great. No problem. Let's close that. All right, so that was just a, a quick comparison between how KiCad 6 is implemented on the three different platforms. I've got Windows 10, Linux, Kubuntu, and Mac OS, and KiCad works happily on all three operating systems. Um, projects can be read and written on all three and then shared across all three, and I haven't really noticed any issues doing so at all. Great news for teams, and great news for people that are working on multiple operating systems. All right, so there's just one lecture uh, left in this section. Uh, there's one more thing that I want to mention, uh, which will be interesting to those of you that are curious about the differences between KiCad 6 and the outgoing version KiCad 5. So I'm going to briefly talk about that in the next lecture.